Welcome to the video tutorial series on modding simple planes. In this video, we are going to be creating a map plugin that changes the skybox from the default skybox to a nighttime skybox. So to get started, I'm going to fire up Unity. I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to be using Visual Studio, so I'm going to import my Visual Studio Tools package. I'm also going to need to import the mod tools package. Okay, we're going to need a skybox. I don't have any readily available, so what we can do is we can search the Unity Asset Store. If we go over here, we can see there's a bunch of free assets that we can download. Uh, I'm just going to pick the first one here. Let's download it. Okay, I think I like this last one here. We're going to give this a shot. So what we're going to need to do, I'm going to open the Mod Builder window. Let's create a mod here. Okay, we're going to need to do just a tiny bit of scripting. Uh, for that, I'm going to need a service provider script. And I also want a map plugin. This is going to create this map plugin object over here. Any map plugin objects in our mods are going to be loaded whenever a map is loaded, and they're going to be unloaded whenever the map is left. Uh, so for this mod, we only really want to modify the default map. So if I select our map plugin object, come over here to the inspector. I'm going to give it a size of 1 for the supported map names, and we're going to say default map. This means that this map plugin will only affect the default map. If I would have left this blank, uh, it would have been loaded for every single map we load. This would include any maps and other mods. We don't want to do that. When our map plugin here gets loaded, what we're going to want to do is run a little piece of code that's going to swap out the skybox. So we're going to need a custom script to do that. Okay. At this point, we can go save this game object here. We've got a map plugin here included in the mod. However, we don't have the actual skybox material being saved. Since the skybox isn't directly associated with this game object, it's loaded dynamically, the mod tools don't know that it needs to save that asset. So I'm going to come down here to the skybox material. I'm going to say save selected assets. Now we see that show up here. So this is the path we can use to dynamically load that skybox material. We come back over to our inspector on the map plugin. We can open our night sky script. Okay, all we need here is a start method. Okay, what we want to do is replace the current skybox with our custom skybox material. I'm going to render settings.skybox. Then that service provider script we added earlier created this guy right here. He's going to allow us to get access to the mod resource loader to load that custom material from our mod. So we're going to go to service provider, instance, resource loader, dot load asset. It's going to be a material. And this is the full path to that asset. So if we look at the asset that we saved, this is the path we want to use. Okay. 
OK, this should replace our skybox. But there's one other tweak we kind of want to make. Uh, right now, we have a directional light in the scene that's providing a lot of bright light. Um, since we kind of want to simulate that nighttime feel, we're going to want to change that directional light to put off more of a bluish blackish color. So let's give that a shot. There is a light at the root of the scene that we're going to want to change. Make sure it's a directional light. We want to change the color. Give it a dark blue color. OK, and that should be all we need. Let's go back to Unity here. Let's double check, make sure I got my object saved. Got my asset saved here. So now I'm going to save the mod. Okay, let's fire up Simple Planes and see what happens. Enable the mod. jump in the sandbox. And there we have it. We got the night sky skybox. And we got this dark blue light kind of shining on everything. Gives it more of a nighttime feel. That's pretty much all there is to it. Thanks for watching.